Yo, what's going on? This is Billboard, and you should know me. I'm Young Blood. Where did I grow up? I grew up in Doncaster, in the north of England. I say Manchester to most people in America because everyone's like, "Where's Doncaster?" What is the story behind the name Young Blood? Everyone always expects me to say like it was this magical myth that I walked under a ladder and it smacked me in front of the face, but. I was actually the youngest person on my management roster and I thought Dominic Harrison for the music I was writing was a bit polite. So I was like, what can I call myself? And my manager always just started calling me the young blood. So I was like, okay, sick. And then he comes in the room and says, all right, young blood. I'm like, bing, light bulbs. And then double the you, double the flavor. What is the craziest thing I've ever done? I've done a lot of crazy things. Um, I think probably like just something on stage, man, I've like, I've tried to backflip off a rigging before that didn't go very well. Um, I've tried to like do a lot of crazy stuff where I've like resulted in broken bones, like jump off balconies at parties just to make people laugh. Yeah, I'm not I'm that person. Um, typical Leo, trying to make people laugh, do stupid stuff. What is my approach to social media? I love social media. I love connecting to people, that's how I connect to my fan base. That's how I can co directly connect to a person who might be on the other side of the world that I may never meet in real life. And I mean, everyone's like, oh, it's the end of the world. I don't think it is. I think it's just another form of communication. You can either like rock out to it or hate on it, but I'm rocking out to it hard. When have I been the most starstruck? Oh, probably when I met Dave Grohl, to be honest. Dave Grohl was like such a rock and roll star and just so chill. I was like, yo, young Bob, what's up? And I'm just like, sorry. I'm like, I shit myself. I'm like pissing myself, thinking about shitting myself right now. It's like, fucking Dave Grohl. When did I start making music? Um, I remember one of the first instances I was like 11 years old and I walked down and I'd, I'd been play I wrote a song and I played it for my mum. I was like, mum, I've written this song and I'm so excited about it. It was total rubbish, probably. But I was like, um, what do you think? And she, got, she I played a song and she looks at me and she goes, oh yeah, that's all right, that. I'm like, oh, thanks, mum. Your 11-year-old son just wanted you to be like, oh, it's amazing, it's insane. And my mum's actually really nice, but I was just like, I'm going to prove you wrong. I'm going to write six songs. What was the inspiration behind 11 Minutes? It was a story that genuinely moves me. It was about two young people who kind of fell in love and for, because of the way we act right now in society, they felt like they had to split up to get a good job or to get, to get somewhere in their life and they realised they couldn't live without each other and they, they said that they would meet up to try and rekindle this spark because they realised they couldn't be without each other and on the way to meeting up she got killed in a car accident and I don't know the story was such a moving beautiful tragedy to me I just think it's a resemblance of you never know how precious something is until you've lost it when did I first meet Halsey um, in LA man we just literally we just literally met up for a drink to talk some shit and then bish bash bosh here we go wow what is my biggest accomplishment so far I don't know, man. I think I'm really proud of the community that kind of Youngblood as a whole has built. You know, I think I'm really proud of the connection and the safety of this community that's been built around, around that name. And I'm just getting started and I just want that community to grow and grow and grow and grow.